in for hell. Welcome to Jay Silver Presents, where I present the best in esports from your favorite, favorite players. I am joined by fellow DMV resident Blabber after their win against Cloud9. Congratulations. Uh, thank you very much. So, first question I gotta ask Do you think Cloud9 will break the Super Team curse? Um, yeah, I think so. I think that. Uh... I think that we're really good as a team. I think we're only going to get better as a team, and um, I'm really excited to play with the squad. Mm -hmm. There's been a lot of questions, and obviously you've been playing so long now. There's obviously questions between you and JoJo. How do you feel the relationship's going so far? Uh, we're getting along really well. Uh, I really enjoy playing with him. Uh, he's super good, and he's super like open to feedback. Uh, he's just a funny guy, and uh, yeah, I'm happy to be able to play with him. We've been playing a lot of duo together, and. Uh, it's gonna be a good year. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Um, I want to ask a little bit about the jungle changes. Uh, we saw Viego today. I was actually excited when you picked Viego against Jarvan because that's a pretty easy combo to execute. But I gotta know what what are your opinions about the jungle changes? Um, it's it's pretty nice actually. I think this patch is actually better for jungle. I think like the mythic item removal is actually good for jungle. Um, and also, they buffed jungle damage to uh, camp, so a lot of champions before they couldn't clear like Xin Zhao. Um, because the pet does so much damage now, you can mm -hmm. easily clear the jungle, so that feels really nice. Um, but yeah, overall, I, I like the changes, for mm -hmm. jungle at least. And what about the champions themselves? Do you feel like the, it's in a healthier champion state, or do you think there should be more diversity at some point? Um, I think for jungle specifically right now, they're actually like a pretty healthy. You can play carries, you can play tanks, you can play mages. Um, I actually think you can play a lot right now, so I'm actually pretty happy with the jungle meta right now. <laughs> I know you love Nocturne, and obviously Nocturne got that giant item boost in the experimental hex play, and I know you were talking to Palafox out there about uh, Xin Zhao, who also uses it. I want, your, I want to know your thoughts on that item. Even though we didn't see it in this game, it's still a very dominant item. Uh, Zin actually doesn't use that item. Um, Nocturne is like the only jungler right now that uses Hexplate. Um, but it is very strong on Nocturne because you're very over-reliant. So having an item that lets you lower your ult is very good. Also the components for Hexplate are really good for Nocturne. Um, the Quiver allows you to clear really fast. So it's like, it's a very nice item on Nocturne. Mm -hmm. Only reason I asked about Zin, we saw it a little bit in uh, Europe this morning where I think it was Yike who um, used Xin Zhao with Hexplate, but that's another that, that's another story here and there. Um, let's talk about the game a little bit. First big question, the pause. Uh, I know you're no, you're no stranger to the pauses. You've been on much longer pauses than this one. What usually happens during a pause for you guys, at least? Um, well, usually the pause is like, it's longer than, what's it called? The pause is longer than um, you expect a lot of times. Uh, because they tell you a certain amount of time, but then they run into problems. And also, uh, for me, I just like try to keep my team focused. Like, hey, um, we're still playing. Like, we're not allowed to usually talk for the first 10 minutes of the pause, mm -hmm. 15, however long it takes. If it's a long pause, if it's a short pause, you know, then it finishes um, fast. But usually you can't talk. And then once you start talking, there's only so much you can talk about the game because you're not doing anything, right? Yeah. So there's only so much you can talk pushing it forward. Then you start like shit posting, you start talking about random stuff, you know. Um, especially for us because we were winning, we were having a lot of fun. Um, mm -hmm. So that's why I just was trying to make sure that hey, like we're still focused, like the game's not over, the next is not dead, you know, we can still lose. Um, mm -hmm. So that was like mainly what happened today during the pause. Uh, but yeah, I've definitely experienced longer pauses than this. Yeah. I'm just looking at the screen. We see a Zach yeah, yeah. and a Zinja. That's a that's pretty interesting. Um, yeah. I also want to ask a little bit about the game itself versus NRG. Uh, obviously, Jersey was a little different than everyone expected. Um, you guys lost there. Uh, how did it feel to get the victory over NRG? Uh, it feels really good to get revenge on them. I think that um, Ignar was a big centerpiece, or not centerpiece, a big like player for them. Mm -hmm. And I think losing him was a, a big hit for them. I still think they're going to be very good. And I, I know that they're not actually like a regular season team anyways. Um, and so I think that they will ramp up. Uh, they've always been better in, like, in playoffs and in clutch situations, I think. So uh, I'm looking forward to playing them in the future again. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, a couple more questions. Number one for you, you've been to Worlds. You've won MVPs. You've won titles. But one of the things I'm always curious, as someone of your veteranship at this point, what is next for you? What is the goal? Um, 
I mean, I'm still, you know, wanting to win trophies. I want to win as many trophies as possible. That's my goal. Um, I also want to, you know, uh, do well internationally. I feel like I've had good international performances. I've also had bad international performances. They have been consistent, and for me, like, I really want to like make a good showing at Worlds, and I think this team can do it. Mm -hmm. MSI too. It's it's fun. Yeah. Uh, would you say the goal for you is MSI or bust, possibly? Oh, oh yeah, for sure. Like, if we don't make MSI this split, I will consider that like a a bad, you know, split. And um, you know, I want to win, but I definitely my my ultimate goal has been to do well internationally as a team. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Um, I also quickly want to ask before I wrap up. Um, we talked about it a little bit. We are both from the DMV area. Where's your favorite place to get crab cakes? I know we talked. I know we've talked about. Obviously, the meme is Crab Shack. You, your meme with the crab, but I gotta know your opinion on the Maryland crab cakes. I don't like crab cake. I don't, really? I don't eat crab cake. But I eat. Uh, when I was growing up, I ate a lot of crab. Um, I don't know the shop's name, but it was like a local shop. Um, and the reason I don't eat crab that much anymore is because I'm lazy. I actually like crab, <laughs> but peeling a crab, it's oh, very, it, it's... it takes time. Yes. And my mom would always peel the crab for me, so I wouldn't have to do it. But I see me doing it myself, so I don't eat crab anymore. <laughs> well, uh, Jack, if you're watching this, if get this man some crab, and someone has to peel it for him. Uh, last question. I, you know, you and I have talked several times, and every time it's a good conversation. I want to still get your thoughts. Anything you'd like to say to the fans? No, just uh, thanks everyone for tuning in. I think. Um, the LCS is going to be going in a good direction, and uh, I'm excited. I hope you guys come to the LCS. Uh, I'll be happy to, you know, have fan meet, sign anything. Um, so, yeah, uh, thanks for all the support, guys. With that, that's all the questions I have. Blabber, thank you so much. Thank you very much.